thank you for joining Below Average Gaming. I'm your host, Below Average Gamer. Today, I'm going to be talking about something that's been going on in the server quite a bit recently. If you look at my village farm, we've spent a lot of time here. This is kind of the headquarters for everything that we've been doing in the server. My villager count is substantially lower. They used to take up not only this row, but this row, third row, and sometimes even the fourth row of villagers. But currently, as you can see, even on this side, there's not very many. Um, I will admit that I was one of the first people to say it when people were on the forum saying, you know, my villagers are disappearing. I don't know what's going on with my villagers. I've been losing a lot of um, money because my villagers are disappearing. I was one of the first people to say, oh, you just want to get free money. You just want to get free villager eggs. But I can say that it's happened to me as well now. And being that I was one of the first people to talk bad about it, I think that is something that, as you can see, it's affecting a lot of players. I would not go about just killing my villagers so that I could get more. I don't see what the profit there would be. Um, but yeah, these are my reject villagers, the ones that I use strictly for breeding. I'm actually about to feed them right now. Um, the ones that I use strictly for breeding. So yeah, as you can see, it, it's a substantially less. If you look in some of my other videos, there's um, an episode where I go to Hobo Hero's villager farm, and it's the same thing. He panics because his villagers are so low. I believe that's a below average live event on that one. But um, yeah, it's... It's a big deal because it's a big way for a lot of players in the server to make money. And these villagers have just been disappearing all over the place. Um, for real. Like, it's a big issue. I don't know if I could stress that enough. That one of the biggest things that impacts the economy on the server is just vanishing. But I can tell you this, for those of you who do have this issue or want to avoid this issue. All of my villagers that I've had locked up in their one by one squares here are completely intact. I can tell you on the other side of this wall here... I think I have three empty spots at the very, very end there. Um, and if we look, it's completely true. See? One, two. Actually, I actually have two. Sorry. Two empty spots. All my villagers on the other side are fine. All my villagers here. I have a couple empty spots at the end over there. But other than that, they're all in order. Um, and I try to keep as few in this side as possible. Um, I think I have like one or two. Unless I move them already. I don't recall if I move them or not. Oh, yeah. There's one there. Um, but yeah, so there's that. I'm actually going to get that villager out of there because I don't want him. What do you trade? Do you trade anything worth saving? Unbreaking one. Efficiency two, that's pretty okay. Unfortunate one. Um, I'm going to let you go. Let's move you to a different spot. Oh, it's, is it nighttime or is it daytime? Is it nighttime becoming daytime or is it daytime becoming nighttime? I think it's nighttime becoming daytime. What the heck are you doing? Get out of here. Nope. I want you out. You freeloader. I want to move you across. Over, oh, or I guess we can go down that way. That's fine, too. I have some empty spots there. I have this really nice little town home at the end. I think that you would absolutely love. Let me just show you that real quick by just shoving you, nudging you, moving you ever so slightly down the way. I'm waiting for um, a package to come in today. So I've been killing time just by making videos. If you saw, I actually posted another video today about me eating some salsa. Not salsa, it's it's hot sauce. It's own it's just hot sauce. It's actually part of uh a Blair's blend. If you want to look up their hot sauce, I believe it's just called Blair's. But it's uh the 3 a.m. I don't know what that means or how their system of measurement there works, but that stuff is get the frick back here is um spicy. It is uh the ghost pepper, I believe, is eight hundred thousand on the Scoville scale. This is two million, and it's the equivalent of um being sprayed in the face with police grade. Uh, pepper spray so it is very warm very hot go ahead and check out that video it's a live action of me just panicking like a small child um and <laughs> the thing that messed me up i will tell you this i will tell you this for a fact for true i pooped my pants after doing that challenge after that i did like for real 100 percent. this is not a joke this is not a metaphor i just 100 percent just pooped my pants after i ate that salsa or that that sauce because, lordy, that was the hottest thing I have ever put in my body. Ever. Sweet baby Jesus. That was warm to the touch. And apparently, I didn't even get the, the full brunt force of it. Because we had a friend do it, and I didn't actually film him. Because he was like the last person who I was like, yeah, I got enough people eating it, enough people smoking it, all sorts of stuff. I don't really need it anymore. But he did, uh, I did, I did a, a drop. Um, Michael, my friend, did a half drop. He's in the video with me. Um, but I did a drop. My friend who did it last, his name's Andrew, he did um, four drops. No, I'm sorry. He did six drops because he did four and then he did two more because um, he likes spicy food. And 
he was okay. Like, he was like, okay, it's really hot. He, just, he was, like, able to say, like, oh, it's really hot. And be okay with it. But around 10 minutes later, when it's supposed to hit its peak, was when he shot up, like, a rocket and, like, was done for the night. Like, he, like, had to go home. Like, there were issues going on with his brain, with his body, with his tongue, everything. Because it has a late reaction. And it was painful to watch. And I was just like, yes. And it sucked because I drank all of the milk before there was one glass left and shyler did, did that one which shyler is in the video after um that came out the day of i bought one video the day of um yeah but he took the last gulp of that milk and then andrew didn't have any milk left over let's go ahead and go down to my um gold farm i actually recorded a full thing before this of building a little tunnel or making the tunnel a little bit nicer down here and um yeah it turns out my microphone was not working so yeah, we're going to go ahead and look down here. If you look, I made some light just so I could tell. Because I would constantly be in here. I know it's a stupid thing, but I'd get kind of turned around and I wouldn't know where it was. And the doorway was kind of hidden, so I wouldn't be able to find it. So I, I built this so that I can actually go through here. And voila. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I re I'm really digging that. I want to do something similar with this one, just not today, because I spent a lot of time working down here, doing a lot of stuff, and it didn't record, so I'm kind of done with that. It was a 45-minute record that did not go through, because there was no audio, so I'm just really upset um, about that. What else? Oh, yeah, I've been working uh, I've been working on my mansion as well. I'm going to need a drink of water. <sighs> My mansion as well, um, if we come in here, we can see, I first off, I built the chandelier up here, which I enjoyed building. I'm actually going to be building a couple more. It takes a little bit of time, getting up there, building one side, getting up there, building the other side, doing that whole thing a couple times, um, but it was a lot of fun. I'm going to put a couple more, just because this place is so big that that is not nearly enough lighting um, for that, but I also built this little welcome desk here. I wanted, my, my deal was to make this kind of like an office. And to make it work as such. That's why I built these little dividers here. So that you can really tell that this is a separate room from everything else. Which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm also going to put little hallways. So that you can actually access different things. Like down here I think this. Well I think this over here is going to be a kitchen. This little section back here where you don't have an upper story. Is going to be a kitchen with a dining area here. Because I think that if anything is going to have a, a front access door there and an access door here it should be a dining area which means that back here i want to put like a grill and all sorts of good stuff out here Oop, i want to think cool with uh, that little awning and everything put a little grill put all sorts of stuff maybe just something small right here i don't know there's a lot of thinking going into that if you would like to help build or you're an interior designer on the server or if you're not on the server go to play.hellominers.com and join the server because I'm going to most likely be looking for people to help me build this. Because I don't do a lot of interior design. And I know pretty much everyone on the server does. But the thing is getting someone at the right price. And getting someone who can do really good stuff for a decent price. So I'm I'm waiting on that. This needs to be finished. This window here. Right? Oh no. That's the same. It's identical. That's fine. Um, But yeah. I, I'm probably going to need help with this. I want to try to build it myself. But at the same time, like it's a lot of stuff. And if I put a dining room over there, what am I going to put here? Because this is identical. I don't want to have two kitchens and two dining rooms. Maybe I'll make this like a, uh, a bedroom over here. Just have one really big bedroom. This is the size of like most houses that I built in my early days of Minecraft. That's locked. Um, but yeah, so that's cool. Oh no, half my house is gone. Oh, here it is. It's being built. But yeah, so there's a lot of stuff that I'm wanting to do here. But it's just a matter of finding people to help me with that. I also have the garage down here. I think I'm going to hire someone to build me like a Batmobile or something. I'm a huge, I'm a huge Batman fan. So I want to have a Batmobile here. I'm a huge Batman and Iron Man fan. So I'm thinking if I could maybe even dig this out and make like a lower thing. I could put a Batcave or something down here. Yeah. So there's that. What's going to go down there. I've been working on my toolbox recently for... um. Just basic stuff. I like to draw. I like art. So I have my... It's it's a toolbox. That's an art box. So inside it separates into multiple different sections. I'll actually show you on the next below average update. Um, when my new camera comes in. Hopefully it came in a second ago. I heard a heavy truck driving by. Hopefully that was UPS dropping off my stuff. I don't know if the garbage gets done today. Today is Thursday. Um, so 
Oh, garbage. I'm looking outside. Garbage may have come. That may have been the garbage truck, but I don't know. I'm hoping that it was a UPS truck. Because my, my package for my new camera is supposed to come in today. Which means I can do some more live action stuff at a little bit better quality. I can actually get back to drawing, and you guys can see that. Um, I hear another large truck coming. But I live in Clovis, California, so... Everyone drives a large truck, so it's really difficult. I put the uh, the Helenati logo up here from the one that was left behind before. I just plucked that up and I put it there. Luckily, they didn't lock it, which I'm really surprised that when they placed it, they, they didn't lock it. I was really surprised about that. I'm thinking about, do I have a sign on me? I was thinking about putting a sign. I have, Do I have enough wood to make a sign? Putting a sign like here for what that is. In fact, I think I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to go down and chop down a tree, and I'm going to do that. I don't want to chop down any of these because there's purpose in them being here. They're actually really pretty, and if I take one down, I feel like it's going to make the whole thing really unpatterned. Like, it's going to look unnatural. But luckily, there's a ton of trees all over the place out here. Also, apparently, a cow. So let's just go over here. I want to go far enough away that I won't have to, like, I won't know. That it's there because it, I have really bad OCD. It's gonna really get on my nerves if I know that there's a tree out here with like a middle section missing, or if I could even just find like a really short tree, that might be better. Like that might be one there. Ooh, ooh, perfect. I have an axe. What am I doing? Oh, someone knew I was coming. I'm so happy about that. Now let's just. Ooh. Yep. I always misspell home. I don't know why that is. What's going on with that? But I always misspell home on the first try. Is there a spider behind me? So I filled these in here. So there's like a walking space out here. And there's that. As you can see, there's still sections that still need to be completed. Like that there needs to be fixed. Um, there was another spot here. Some of these windows are knocked out completely. This whole place, um, after Impersonator left it, it just got just really vandalized. Like, people just came and stole crap. So, it's really sad, because this is a really nice place. And, to be fair, Impersonator was a great person, great human being. To me, never did anything wrong me. I know a lot of people had issues with their playing style and all that stuff, but... Never once did I have an issue. Oh man. I'm not happy with that. I kind of liked what was going on there. Let's do that. Hello, hello. I don't even remember how to spell it. Hello, naughty. There we go. Hello, naughty. There we go. That looks kind of okay, All right? That looks decent. I appreciate that. There, now they won't attack and kill me. Which I'm really excited about. I'm really excited to not die. <laughs> Is this UPS? Please be UPS. No, it's no one. There's no one there. <laughs> Every truck makes me happy. But yeah. I'm getting this new camera. I'm probably going to buy myself another one. Like right after this one gets here. First there's a mini rocket and there's nothing here. Yeah, you know. I also want to do another um live episode. I have a lot of stuff that I want to do. The next one thing that I want to do too is a live episode. I did the one where you had to find me out in the wilderness, um, which was really fun. I really like. I really enjoyed that. So I think I'm gonna do another one of those someday. Maybe not today. Possibly, most likely not tomorrow. I again, maybe tomorrow, but just most likely not tomorrow. That's just how that's going to work. I'm really busy tomorrow. <laughs> like, really busy. A lot of personal stuff happening, so. My fiancé is graduating from college, so I'm excited about that for her. <laughs> She's a child development major, which is interesting because I'm an English major, which means that I'm going to be teaching kids who are leaving school graduating and whatnot for high school and she's going to be welcoming them and she's going to be teaching them that the world is full of happiness and sunshine and rainbows when they go through preschool and i'm going to be teaching them no it's not life is horrible and you're going to hate it 
worst experience you are ever going to have. And then we kick them out into the real world. See, look at all these places out here just got horribly vandalized. Just zombies. Dang it, there's another zombie villager in there, it looks like. And it makes me really sad because there's nothing I can do. I can't heal them and then keep them. I don't know what it is, but there's a lot of zombie villagers out here. Out in this section, this area of the server. So, yeah. I'm not doing a lot of economy stuff today, am I? I'm doing a lot of exploring. There's the house. Someone paid for that to be made. That's pretty economical, right? No. The person I believe paid, paid Alex to have that made. I think. I, I believe that's the story. What's that? That's pretty interesting. That is a lot of colored sheep. That is a lot of whatever that is. What is that? Is this regent? Okay, I was like, I can't tell if this is regent or what's happening here. What's in here? There's like nothing in there. It's just like parkour. Oh, it's more sheep. Weird. Oh, I died. Dang it. Okay, well, it's fun exploring. Oh, hey, before we go, <coughs> um, ooh, let's see how my stone is doing. All the stone that I mined out of that spot down there. Hey. Hey. What's... Oh, okay, cool. Hey, if you're um, new to the server, I did an episode a couple days ago about being new and getting introduced to the server and everything like that. If you're new to the server, you're looking for a shop, you're looking for a way to make money, let me help you out here. First, you're going to warp VC. Is that just a dog's head? Well, it's a baby dog. Warp VC, turn around. Behind you, you can see here, we have this big brick building. Walk to this brick building over here like these guys are doing. Or run, I don't care. <clears throat> Go on this portal, look at And we're in the nether. The tunnel. Desert City Nether Hub. That's where we're at. One of the most popular, in my opinion, the most popular portal hub. Yes, people would argue, oh, the Sudbury Hub's pretty popular. Yeah, the thing is, the Sudbury Hub's pretty popular, but it goes to, like, just one city. Whereas this, and you, like, a couple that kind of branch off, and it's like, oh, yeah, clearly it's all about Sudbury, but there's a couple other places. This one is clearly about a lot of places. So we're going to come here, Icon City. Yo! Snow Leopard's talking to me. Leopard. Come down here. Now normally you would walk right down there to get to one of the cities. We're actually going to go up here. So up here. Yo! And as you can see, you can actually rent out these spaces. Um, this one's expired, but I still come here to shop all the time. I get cookies, as you can see. I have cookies now, so I'm not going to buy any more. And I bought all their wheat, and I used that to feed my... um villagers at the beginning of the episode but you can rent any of these spots they're really good for people who are new and are just trying to get started in the server how much are we asking for icon idk give me an offer or you can buy for 1000 f oh Help me rented my own region. Help me. No. I have made a mistake. Oh, Lordy, no. I didn't think that would happen. For you, you're joking. Right. Give you forty K for it. Uh sorry, but my my city cost about two hundred thousand 
just to make the plots and everything like that. And yes, a lot of plots are sold. It's the lowest you will go. 100k. It's a 200k city. Eyesores. That can make you a lot of money. Um, plus pre region uh, and there we go. Whatever. Um, da -da 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 -da. I can probably do that. No, you can't. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's pretty cool. You do IOUs? No, I don't. Um, what else can I show? Oh, I wanted to show you this. We have two cities that are new to the area here. As you can see, they're heading to Soleil. Over here, we have New Vegas. New Vegas is still under development. Um, I'm just going to show it to you because it's in my portal hub hit yo I'm, getting, I'm popular today a lot of people are talking to me hello king doge he owes me 30k i made my name hello naughty i don't care oh i don't care you do whatever you want so let's go in here bloobity 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 check with the maker well, I appreciate it. I appreciate you asking. I don't give him a smiley face. Because I honestly am really happy. I don't like when people take stuff from me. As I would assume nobody does like when people take things from them. Um, so I appreciate that when people are asking. So yeah, this is uh, New Vegas. Really nice. I really enjoy this city. It's really, really cool. Um, I don't know what that is. Can you go 90k? Because I'm cool. I can do 110k because you're cool. Um, so let's go back here. That was New Vegas. I'm going to show you the other one where I actually go to get a lot of my supplies. Um, I actually go... I said 110. Ah, bah, 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 getting real tired of your games, Bob Banana. I love you. I appreciate you. You know that. Great guy. And King Doge, uh, thank you. Gonna give you a shout out. I'm not playing anymore. Bob Banana. I don't I don't feel like playing anymore. Thanks for the gift. I appreciate that. I don't know why I take my city that I worked really hard to make really seriously. If you don't know the story of Icon, I think I talk about it in one of the previous episodes. But it was a lot of work to get that done. Um, first off, I had North Bay. had to sell North Bay. Um, I had to sell it for enough that I would actually make a decent profit. 808 Mesa. 888 Mesa. I swear if you have it. Why are you doing this? Um, I had to sell North Bay for enough. So luckily, um, Billy Moore actually sold to me. Or sold, bought the city off of me. For I think like 80k. Which was about, in my opinion, what it was worth. Really decent price. So he bought it for that. Um, and I used that to fund Icon City. I had about like 200,000 already, I think. Or like 100,000 or something like that. So that extra 80k bumping me up a little bit really, really helped. I was really ecstatic about that. Something's going on here. Um, I was really ecstatic about that and being able to get that done. So yeah, I was able to do that. Can you reserve it for me? Sure. Um, I was really ecstatic to get that set up. So I used that. That's cool, it's fire. Um, to get Icon started. And I actually started Icon right off the coast of Valley City. But you could see it off the coast of Main City. Off of Hello Clan City. So since I had that going on, you know. What is this? Planetarium. Okay. Um, and I used that to start Icon City. And um, when I did that, they I got in a big 
fight with the staff about like, you know, you got to move it. And, stuff. and I was like, I'm sorry, I'm not breaking any rules. I don't see why I have to move it. I was like, no, 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 you have to move it. It's right in the way. And then Teddy eventually contacted me a lot nicer than the other staff and basically said, hey, here's the issue. We want to take pictures of Hello Clan City. And it's really difficult with you, your thing here. Because it's going to be in the background, and we don't want player-made cities in the background of the city. I, and he's like, I hope you understand that. And I was like, yeah, I understand that. Me and Teddy were kind of friends like at the time, too. So it was like, okay, yeah, you know, I understand that, whatever. Um, so what are we going to do? And they said, we'll just copy and paste your entire city somewhere else. Just pick a spot, and we'll put it there. And they paid me a lot of money for it. So I was really happy about that. So getting that thing sold at a decent price, I want to do 100000 I know a lot of people are like, that's too much. It's it's a $200,000 of reforcal regioning so the, the land itself is two hundred thousand, and yes i've sold a lot of the buildings on it but a lot of them are eyesore so they can actually be taken down like you just have to do the proper stuff to get it taken down and that entire not the entire city but like i'd say like 50 percent of that city will clear up pretty quick um yeah i've opened a couple cities i also opened freedom city which was stolen from me by a different player um because i helped them open it and they were like you're the worst da -da -da -da. I've, I've said that story before so yeah, I've opened a couple cities. So getting rules done and everything like that, I'm really good at. And making sure that the rules make it so that the city could be freshly restarted whenever you need to. You can't just be like, oh, this is all mine now. But you can reset the city in about a month if you needed to. And I make sure that the rules are very clear in stating stuff like that. Um, so yeah. And I believe that that entire city is able to be, like, reset. So you can honestly make, like, 400000 off of it. Which is why I'm like, it's 100000 it's a deal. It's, it's like, honestly, I know everyone says about their land, like, oh, yeah, no, this is a great deal. You should buy it right now. But in reality, like, I've done the math. It This is a deal. This is a nice house. That's a lot of steak. But, yeah, um, I've talked about a lot of stuff in this episode. Thank you for watching. It's going to be about 30 minutes long, so yikes. Really good episode. Appreciate that. Um, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. I appreciate you liking, commenting, and subscribing. You the best. I will see you in the comments below. And that's it. Bye. Hi, it's me, the Below Average Gamer. Just wanted to say thank you again for watching the video. And don't forget to join the play.hellominers.com server. One of the best servers that I've ever played on. It's a lot of economy, a lot of roleplay. Exactly what I was looking for in a server. You have the ability to make money. You have the ability to build, to create, to generate your own profit. It's a lot of fun. If you look at their website here at www.hellominers.com. They actually, all these buildings here in the background were paid for and built by players. It's really easy to join. As you can see, there are conversations going on at all times regarding um, bans, regarding buying, selling, regions, how to fix up the server, what to do, how to get rid of the things in the server, how to add things to the server, all sorts of stuff. It's a lot of fun, and I strongly suggest you join. Again, that is play.hellominers.com. Always remember to sign up for the forums as well. That way you can be a part of that conversation. This has been the Below Average Gamer endorsing this server. Thank you again for watching and uh, enjoy your day. Bye.